And Dr. Ben Springate is back with us again, answering some of your questions about COVID-19. He is the Chief of Community and Population Medicine at LSU Health Sciences Center, and he's back with us this morning answering some of your questions. Dr. Ben, thanks for joining us. First of all, we really still don't know how many people have the coronavirus because there's just not that much testing. And then a lot of people who get tested, I mean, some of the people I've talked to have never gotten their results back. Others take a week or more. Right. The main challenge, of course, is that um, so much asymptomatic spread uh, where people do not have any symptoms is happening in all of our communities throughout the area. And so that means that we're really going to have a difficult time pinpointing how much of this disease is actually occurring in our community, how much spread there is. And it's really frustrating, of course, for those people who have gone to the efforts of getting a test and then have not received the results back. That's a that's a significant challenge. And why is there such a difference in testing results uh, the time you get them? Some you get back that day, others you got to wait a week or more. Well, some of the testing facilities now have come online closer to home here in the New Orleans area at some of our local hospitals, for example. And those at times are some of the newer, faster machines that have been developed in recent weeks. Um, some of the other testing that requires being sent out to a lab at a station that's not here in the New Orleans area, for example, um, those labs are taking uh, samples from across the country, potentially. And so that means that the timeline is perhaps slower. Okay. Uh, let's get to a viewer question. If I test pos positive and stay home for 14 days, do I need to check with the doctor first before I start going back out? And do I need to worry about wearing a mask when I do get out? Um, I think it would be reasonable if you have a doctor to check with your doctor again before going out just to be certain that you aren't having any additional symptoms or there's nothing that's putting you at higher risk. And because uh, some people, even after 14 days, may continue to spread the virus, um, it's a smaller proportion of people, certainly, but there are some people. I think it's also reasonable and worthwhile for the benefit of everyone to continue to wear a mask to limit that potential spread. Yeah, and we always hear about, hear about distancing. This viewer is asking, is it okay to just walk uh, by someone on the sidewalk? We can't stay exactly six feet apart on the sidewalk. Should I cross the street if I see someone approaching me as I walk my dog? Uh, in general, I think that if you have the opportunity to give each other a little bit of room, you can you know, potentially walk on the lawn or you know, go uh, a few feet in either direction to give each other a little more space as you walk by, that would be a good idea. I know that I've been trying to do that just to demonstrate you know, my, my respect for the disease and also my respect for the other person uh, as I, you know, walk down the street as well. And it's better to be safe than, uh, than sorry. If someone tests positive in a house, should they really restrict movement to one room and a bathroom? Sometimes they just want to go to the kitchen to grab something to eat. Should they avoid doing that? It really depends on your circumstances in your home. Um, if there are other people in your home, yes, it's, it's really worthwhile to try to limit your movements in the house to the extent possible. Uh, to try to you know, perform a modified self-isolation so that you're in one area and the rest of the household is in another area. Um, wash your hands very often and disinfect any potentially commonly touched surfaces. All right, Ben, thanks very much. And if you have a question for Dr. Ben Springate, you can uh, text that to us by texting your question to 504-529-4444. We're coming up.